Hello and welcome back to Shire Farms and the Own the Map Challenge. It is now early April. Overnight we made £2,845. Farm milk sales. We're now up to 200 grand. It's very nice. So in April we have got a busy plant session. Um, we want to get... Oh, April, May. We've got some planting to do anyway. I want to get some soybeans in the ground. We've got those three fields over there. I want to try and get them planted. And then we have the big field over the back there. And I want to get sorghum in there. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to start by setting up a worker to plant the sorghum for, for us. Because they'll find it easier doing the larger field. And then we'll tackle the three smaller fields. Um, probably with... Yeah, we'll, we'll go with the, the horse and they can take the K brand. And they can do that. So uh, let's get started. It's already nine o'clock, but I am finally heading over to the fields I won. Uh, we've got the worker set up. That was no issue. I just wanted to make sure we had plenty of fertilizer and seeds over this way, because I didn't want to have to keep driving back to the farm to top either of these up. So I've loaded up the other 860 with the uh, with the bale trailer, and uh, that's got seeds and fertilizer on there. Now, once I've gotten these planted. I want to try uh, what someone suggested about a forest mulcher. Now, I think the thing is, because I don't do forestry, or, you know, I cut down the old tree, but I don't do forestry, never really used a forestry mulcher. So I didn't know that they did bushes. So we'll have a little stab and see if we can take out these bushes with the forestry mulcher. That might do it. Apparently so. Uh, I think I dropped the, uh, the comment in the last episode to... Uh, who who gave the uh, the feedback? I think I want to start over on one of the small ones. But yeah, that's the uh, that's the supplies over there. We got stonks. We'll get this unfolded on route. We're going to take out a bit of bush as we go. Now I've been doing so much <laughs> in cab gameplay lately with the the extra streaming that I've been doing. Because when I stream, I, I'm, I'm pretty much all in cab. I've, uh, I feel a little bit out of practice without a cab. It sounds silly. It sounds silly, but we're going to go with uh, out of cab for the videos, and I'll try and stick to uh, a little bit more in cab for the streams. So I hope you're all well. Now that we're finally uh, up and going, as you can probably tell, I sound all bunged up again. I do not know what that is all about. I just cannot shake it will not go but with the the size of the uh, the pronto here this should shouldn't take too long at all these three pretty small fields so that's why I wanted to go with something that usually pays out pretty good and this should then in turn give us enough money to buy hopefully a bigger field if we can uh, use forest vulture to get rid of those bushes We'll then, in turn, once these, once all three of these are harvested, we'll uh, merge at least two of them. We could go down the route of taking out those trees and merging all three into one big field. I'd quite like to do that. It's easier to manage the land. Like if we had lots of little fields, it feels like there's a lot more work to do. Whereas if you have these big ones, we know like, we're going to focus, uh, you know, April one on this field and whatever work we're doing another then we'll focus April 2 on another field and work down another there's a lot less flitting about in the episodes I could probably make them a little bit more fluid that's what I'm hoping <laughs> so that's my thinking behind merging fields in this series in Maple I just merged them because I know I needed the space in, in this one we're not necessarily worried about what excuse me what we need of each crop we just know that we need to make as much money as we can within our small rule set and to uh, to get done what we can. The soybeans need little to no fertiliser. Look at that, that's brilliant. So if anything, we're just going to need to top up on uh, seeds, which is great. The soy, uh, the soybean, the um, sorghum probably is using up a lot of uh, fertilizer 
Because that was corn in, in that field. Was it corn? No, it wasn't, was it? Corn's in the one that's not growing. It still doesn't look much bigger as we drove past it. I just tried not to uh, focus on it. Then we took barley out. We took something out of that field down the bottom there anyway. And, uh, yeah. But either way, I think they're quite thirsty on the uh, nitrogen front. Everything apart from canola and soybeans is pretty thirsty on this um, nitrogen front. It's sunflowers. If sunflowers follow suit of uh, FS19 and uh, seasons and stuff like that, then uh, that too would be a little bit better, fertilizer-wise. I'm sure if I uh, enlarge the map a little bit, let's see what they're doing. Looks uh, doesn't look too bad actually. Oh no, it doesn't fertilize. That's why <laughs> that one just seeds, doesn't it? K brand. So that's going to make no difference. We're going to have to fertilize that afterwards. Back up. Now the uh, another issue with these uh, these smaller fields is there's no sort of easy direction. I guess that direction would be the so there's no real easy direction to work and up and down. But I guess north and south would work. That's probably what I should have done. So when I move on to the other two, we'll uh, we'll try and do that. I'll just keep looping this one. It's so small. It's just easier to loop it. The angles aren't overly tight, and when I do have to do a tight angle, I do I do lift it. I do try and play, even though this isn't a realistic series, I do try and play somewhat with a <laughs> hint of realism. Not a lot, just a hint. Don't need my beacons on anymore either. I can go off. I do like having my lights on, just so we've got the work lights at the back. Again, not necessary, it's just a personal preference. It's, uh, it's a little bit ingrained from the uh, the Euro and American trucking because you have to have your work lights on when on the clock or when driving so I always stick them on to start with so I tend to do it when I jump in a tractor as well now. But I think we're going to be alright for seeds for a while. I think the uh, sorghum plant, and that should be alright for seeds, it may even get all the way through about needing seeds over there. So I think We'll jump to a little time lapse here. I'll try and do. I'll finish this field. I'll try and do another one, and then uh, come back to you once I'm in the third field, and uh, we'll catch up with the worker as well then as well. So I'll see you in just a minute. Living life every day, late at night, not okay. All I want. And I pray, all I need are some better days Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror So foggy, but I've never seen clearer I don't really think anyone can save me And honestly, I'm not really sure I want saving I like to be my own worst enemy There's no risk if you don't try at anything So I'ma just get by in everything See you in the next life, have to be a better me I don't think that my head's on straight Gotta flip it and grip it and go and get an x-ray What's wrong with me? I just feel way Pushing on my chest and it squeeze till I suffocate Better change my mindset, meditate It's pretty cool that I'm alive in that better day I could walk, see, hear, I should celebrate Think I could change my mind, maybe elevate Living life, every day, late at night Not okay, all I want, and I pray All I need are some better days Yeah, all I need are some better days Cause all I want Stuck between a rock and a hard place. Do I work hard or live in my pace? You're only young once. Yeah, that's all Just this little but bit here, and that's our first two fields planted. That went pretty smooth, it's gone pretty well. It's now half past 12, so that's a good time. I'll uh, get myself in position. We'll just leave that little bit. I'm not gonna. Actually, I can. I'm gonna drive over it. As I was gonna say, if I weren't gonna cover it, then I wouldn't cover it. But we managed to, uh, to get that. I'll just park this up by the field's edge. And then we'll uh, go and see what the uh, situation is with our worker. They're over there, they look like they're doing well. They don't look like they've stopped, so... They're over there, they look like they're doing well. They don't look like they've stopped. That's good. I think they've got a greater seed capacity than us anyway. Maybe not. They've got that front bit, though, that holds a fair few, don't it? I'll just wait here, and uh, I will tab. Because we're allowed to. Don't forget that. What I might do is uh, top them up when they get to the end. 
nearly halfway. They're at 66%, you can see where they're at. But if I stop them up here, I can set them off again. Again, because of the overlap, they don't always get all the corners and stuff, but that's fine. That's pretty good coverage, actually. I have adjusted it a little bit, so there is a little bit more overlap, but it appears that they still, uh, still seem to miss a bit. Let's just fold that up. I'll, I'll take this over. Top it up. Say the K brand might go just because I hate having to say K brand. I think that sounds worse. <laughs> so. We'll, we will top up. Let's say we, we might get another horse pronto because it's such a beast for the planet. Now, even if we do, like, merge fields, if we can, and, and make them much larger, I think that's that's got more than enough work and width and enough work and power to uh, do all the jobs we want to do in the time frame that we give ourselves. I have said there is every chance that we may have to add a day. And if we do, so be it. We'll get there. Try and stick this where it needs to be. Like so. And hopefully, we go to nearest. Perfect. Not bad at all. Right. I'm going to jump back into uh, mine. I'll crack on with this field. I'll not time lapse this one. And uh, I'll bring you guys back probably as I'm coming to the end of this one and we'll decide what we're going to do next probably something to do with them bushes so that's our third field of soybeans planted all three of them looking beautiful so as we drive past I'm just going to jump in the uh, the other class the 9 I want to say 9 980 960 970 something like that and uh, <laughs> I can never remember what we got. 860s, are these 860s? 870s, so that might be a 960 or a 980. Anyway, I'll, I'll jump in that quickly. I'll tab to it and uh, see how that's doing for seeds. It's still at 75%, so uh, I think it's going to get through there just fine. So I'll continue my journey back home. Uh, I'll just drop these off, I'll, I'll clear them off later. That's not a problem. And then uh, we'll head to the store, because it's only half past four. We've got a, a few hours of daylight, I think. So we'll head to the store, we'll pick up one of those forestry mulches, and we'll see if we can get rid of those bushes. So I believe what we want is one of these. Forestry mulches can be used to remove tree stumps and bushes. Perfect working with I don't think is really going to matter so release this now in the long run we could end up doing a fair old bit of bush removing but if we lease it when we want it's not something we necessarily need to have oh it's got some some claws on the back as well is that for the bush removal Not, never well I say I've never used one obviously I've used a mulcher for stumps and stuff but I've never used one for for I don't know why it came out like that for bushes so I have a little look at it yeah it's very cool and I've not used this one so does the the t right no yeah, it does the T-Rex works the same. Works the same. It's not even English. Does the T-Rex work the same? So if I'd leased the T-Rex, could uh, just chomp straight through them trees as well. This may do that, I don't know. We're not going to try it. I want to cut down the trees <laughs> and try and sell them. We, we need to make the money. We don't want them just disappearing. Now, while I'm here, I'm just going to be naughty. There's no traffic. I'm just going to check. If we've got four pallets... No, just two. 
probably had four pallets, but it turned that off because it's not going to be producing once it's done four. So probably, excuse me, I'm itching. Um, I scratch my head; it vibrates down to the mic. <laughs> Just because, and uh, yeah, so once it gets to four pallets, the uh, the mill will be pretty much empty. So that's why. It's a shame uh, <laughs> the map has the issues it has because sometimes just driving across here, it's, it's actually quite a nice little map. I don't think it's a bad map. It's just not perfect. <laughs> I'll, I'll try and say good about it, because sometimes I do get a little bit annoyed. But we're making do with the shortfalls, that's for certain. I think we're doing pretty good. Uh, you know, without the contracts and stuff like that. I mean, there's still some contracts. Obviously, I've added the delivery contracts, so when we are making a lot of, a lot of fruits and a lot of produce, we'll have uh, things to deliver, and it'll, uh, it'll seem a little bit more fruitful in itself. There's our sheep. Going to get some more of them soon. Fill that right up. Yeah, nice little drive across the map. We don't do it very often. I do do a lot of jumping when uh, it comes to uh, traversing the map. But we, you know, had a couple of little jumps there already. I don't like banging on too many. Well, that's nearly finished. That's cool. I like that that's done today as well because we can then fertilise that tomorrow. And then we can look into doing something maybe completely different. We could look into if this if this bush things work. This bush things work. Why can't I speak English today? If this bush removal thing works, we can um, maybe look into getting rid of some of them trees, ready to merge that into one monstrous great field. Might take take out that tree as well and then bushes just so I have a, a better entrance in here. Now I think I think these might have grown a little bit. I'm sure they were still just down there last time. So they're growing. I just don't understand why they didn't grow at all last year after they were planted. They literally did not grow. I'm certain of that. Because they weren't ready for harvest at uh, harvest seasons. So they definitely didn't grow. I'm sure they're on like a two year cycle now. If we. Well, look at that. If this does work. We could buy that <laughs> meadow over there, merge that all in as well. <laughs> Turn the whole map into one big field. <laughs> Owned it. <laughs> right. Powered it up. I'll put the little claw thing down. So I'm guessing that is work mode. Now, do we go backwards or forwards with it? I'll try it in both directions if it doesn't work. Oh, if this does, if this does what I think it's going to do, that could have probably have been fitted on the front, couldn't it? Because that definitely needs to be going the other way. You don't want to drive through the bush. Oh, oh, it ploughs. Is that that? Will it plough if I bring that up? Oh, that does. That just does that. Okay. Please. Oh. What if I put that down? Does that now do it? It doesn't! That is so disappointing. I was really excited when someone said about this. If I do it in both directions. Come on, please. Rid of the bushes. Oh, I was so hopeful. I really was. So yeah, I don't think... Unfortunately, I don't think this is going to work for us, is it? This whole merging of the fields and plans for expansions that way. We are going to have to work with uh, how it's laid out. Oh, it's driving that bush some more. So unless someone else has uh, some more ideas on how we can maybe do this... Obviously they're just going into Giant Cedar and taking them out, but I don't want to do that every time I want to take out a bush. Such a shame. Such a shame. Yeah, if there's something else you think I should try, 
or whether you know it just doesn't work, let me know. I'm going to uh, paint back over that because I don't want that like that. And I'll return that and we'll find some things to do. Our work has finished planting the sorghum, so we're taking that back as well now. Done a pretty good job in there. Didn't look like there were too many Mr. Patches, which is nice. I'm going to say tomorrow we'll head out and thermalise that, as I like to say. Because I'm a fool, I tell you, a fool. Way popping wheelies. <laughs> a little bit heavy on the back there. Again, my lovely sheep. No indicators coming in hot. There we go. So yeah, we'll get this put away and uh, we'll sleep, I think. It's nearly 7 o'clock, we'll sleep and then we'll uh, do the fertiliser and then we'll look to see what else we can do. So, morning has broken, like the first morn. 2,776 in the bank from milk. And we are going to go out fertilising. Now, I did have a little look before I went to bed and there was contract as well for fertilizing on for fertilizing on field 29 We've got weed on 38 as well <laughs> that didn't work did it um so uh, we're going to take that on as well we'll accept that we'll use our equipment I think we might have enough fertilizer it is a big field but we do have fertilizer and we can always buy some more it's not a problem I think we'll uh, we should be all right with the uh, six. What's the eight hundred and seventy here as well? Where's the little one? Let's give that a run out. Where did I park that? I always lose track. Just there it is. That should be plenty enough to pull the fertilizer. Let's start it up. Our robot and our feed, that's all fine. Let's leave any topping up today. We could do, but we, no, we don't need to. We could put some um, silage in there, I guess. Hay and straw are absolutely fine. Straw for bedding was good last time we looked. I think we're right now. But what I really need if I want to put uh, straw bedding in uh, at later dates is to uh, get a bale shredder and squeezing through that spot now we got rid of the <laughs> this is not big enough room is it we got rid of the um, stone crusher I was thinking that would be easier to get through with our harvester and stuff like that it turns out <laughs> I had a look because I clumped into it when I was doing some other stuff in a few episodes ago uh, it turns out there is a an invisible floating collision box from a collectible that was there. The uh, the collision is still there, although we've got the collectible. We are going to need to go and get ourselves some more fertilizer, so we'll do that. So all stocked up. We do have another five or six bags left over. I'm going to do the field with the contract on first. I'm heading the wrong direction. No, we can get there from here. Um, yeah, we'll do the contract first. Since we're near it, it makes sense. Leave. It's the one right in front of me. So I'll, I'll take that one. Turn my lights off. Not my lights, but me uh, beacons. Now, this has a pretty good spread. It's not bad. Yeah, so it won't take too long to do. I'll, I'll get the contract done and then um, I'll shoot back over, we'll fill up again and then we'll head over to uh, to our field. I think I think we'll have another little time lapse on this one, uh, just help progress us through the day without a big old jump, we want to see the jobs being done, so uh, we'll do that. I'll find myself some music and I'll see you in a bit. All I need are some better days. Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror. So foggy, but I've never seen clearer. I don't really think anyone can save me. And honestly, I'm not really sure I want saving. I like to be my own worst enemy. There's no risk if you don't try at anything. So I'ma just get by in everything. See you in the next life, have to be a better me. I don't think that my head's on straight. Gotta flip it and grip it and go and get an x-ray. What's wrong with me? I just feel way. Pushing on my chest and it squeeze till I suffocate. Better change my mindset, meditate. It's pretty cool that I'm alive in that better 
days. I could walk, see, hear, I should celebrate, think I could change my mind, maybe elevate. Living life every day, late at night, not okay. All I want and I pray, all I need are some better days. Yeah, all I need are some better days, cause all I want. Stuck between a rock and a hard place Do I work hard or live at my pace? You're only young once, yeah that's all great But I also want a future where I'm okay Living life is doing lots of cocaine Wait no, it's living with no shame Wait no, it's sleeping in on Sundays I guess it's different for each of us and that's okay Well I just wanna be happy How to get there, hmm, glad that you asked me I think it's different for everyone Some of us need work, others need fun Some of us need purpose to overcome But try to do what you love when it's said and done Cause there's so many differences in each of us Trust your gut, it can show you what you want Living life, every day, late at night Not okay, all I want And I pray, all I need are some better days And that is the last of our field fertilised of jobs done. I'll, I'll get this back to the farm and then we'll go back to payment. And then we'll have to see if we can find something else to do today. If not, we'll uh, we'll say it's the day done. We'll finish early here. We don't have many early finishes, so I'm not going to worry about it. Gives us a chance to have a slightly shorter episode, which I'm sure people <laughs> will appreciate. So payment for the contract is 9,407, which is actually really quite good. So we'll collect that, and then we've got silage additives, barley, canola oil, none of which do we have in supply, and that weed and uh, we've we've had issues with that before. I'm not too worried about that for five hundred pounds. We'll give that one a miss. Like I say, everything else on the farm is pretty good. We can uh, quickly run over and check the sheep, I guess. Bit of a trek now all the way over there. Should have looked <laughs> when I was in the tractor. I know. You what we can do, we can do this, can't we? This is allowed here on this series. So they, they are producing wool. Their feed is good. They've still got 4,500 litres. I think water, water's fine. Health is only at 45%. Is it because they're growing? Or why is their health not at maximum? They've got hay. They've got water. They should be happy. Perhaps they will. Perhaps they will in time. But yeah, they're all good. Like I say, I'd like to get some more. Oh, it might be overcrowded. It might be overcrowded. How are they... Uh... Yeah, I can't remember what the capacity was supposed to be on them. 20-something, I think. What have we got? Uh, 35 months, 26 months. Oh, we've got some more. Some calves as well. So, yeah, we've uh, got a little baby, a lot of baby sheep. I'm sure there's 25 capacity on them. Yeah, 25% capacity. So, I think we're going to have to go to prevent overcrowding because I don't want them, don't want them dying. And what I'm going to do is uh, if I can find the trigger where we put them in here right the little ones for now we'll sell them they're not going to be worth anything because the lambs can create so many um, what I should do I guess is try and get some more get some more uh, lamb things <laughs> pastures and then a trailer and we can move them over so on our next quiet day I'm going to have to keep track of them every so many months um, yeah good job I come and looked shame about the grass growing through the water I'll change that in painting um, yeah so if we put down another four pastures around it to this side to the other side for now and then when it fills we move half of them over and same on that one, move them over until the whole area is full. Then I'd have to keep buying sheep. I feel like it's the animal extension mod that's doing that. And um, I think the sheep can have uh, between one and maybe six lambs, one and four lambs, something like that. So you only need a few, la a few sheep to start producing a lot of lambs. We're going to have to keep track of that. Our chickens will be in dire straits as well. Let's quickly look. 
chickens. Oh, goodness, yes. Right, we need to sell some of them. <laughs> oh, I turned prevent, yeah. Prevent overcrowding, so it'll just fill, and then that'll sell. So I want to do my chickens. Oh, that is preventing overcrowding, that's fine. So how, how old are them ones? 27. Okay, that's fine. Ooh. Ooh. Our cows are good. I think we can hold 80 in there. Sorry, the ball is flicking in and out. I'm thinking about it now. Uh, 20, 40, yeah, 50. They're good. Okay, so with that, I think that's going to be the end of today's episode. Um, we're finishing on over 200,000. Selling our sheep has covered the leasing cost of the bit machinery that we didn't get to use because it didn't, didn't take away the bushes. Uh, but hopefully you've all enjoyed today's episode. Next time out, I'm sure we'll have a lot more going on. Uh, we'll be getting ready for harvest soon. I'm sure that'll be coming along. Um, may have another contract. If not, we'll get started on sorting out the sheep and uh, doing a few other things. Maybe buying up a small plot of land and doing something with that. So hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, give a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn your bell notification, and I'll find out when new videos are going live. There's a link to my other variety gaming channel in the description and on the homepage. Go check me out there if you like what you see. Drop some support. You guys have a wonderful day. And hopefully I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.